Whiskey. A gentle satire. Does whiskey conjure up emotions? What is going on when you encounter an outstanding bottle? The easiest way to make us feel something is to create a backstory that is the legend behind the exquisite dram you're about to experience. Spin a wee story on the label about the purity of the water flowing through the Highland Stream for hundreds of years. The lovely Morrisher barley fields and the charred white oak casks. How else can whisky bring forth emotions? Well, the producers lace it with a lot of alcohol to evoke a warm, sentimental feelings and inner go-to. The look of the bottle can hold many attractions for a drunkard, sorry, I mean a connoisseur. The bottle's gleaming surface must be enticing and should contain pictures of bagpipes. The condensation running down the side of the face of the drinker is also emotive in any advertising campaign. Odour, of course, is the most obvious trigger of emotions. Smell projects directly to the amygdala, a centre in the brain for emotions and memory, and one swig can bring back immediate memories of being arrested in one's youth for many, certainly for me. When you encounter an outstanding bottle, it's the first sniff that lets you know that something special is happening. Later, before you pass out or your money runs out, you will forget this initial rush of sensory overload. That first sip provides the moment when everything goes still, including your heart. You will be transfixed and gripped by feelings of euphoria because something very good is happening to your mind and body. Further sips of the precious liquid is like being caressed by a charming lady. These exceptional experiences and heightened emotions will always induce a smile and make your heart glad.